Christmas. Today we had so much fun focusing on Christmas. And actually how I started is we sang the families of God because I said Christmas is all about families. And so we reviewed that song and then we got into our Christmas stuff. And I told the kids that I had brought the Grinch with me because he needed to know what the true meaning of Christmas. I said, look at his heart, look how little his heart is. His heart is so little because he doesn't know the true meaning of Christmas. He doesn't know that it's about Jesus. And when we sing about Jesus, our heart grows with love for him. And when our heart grows with love for him, our heart grows with love for others. And so today I want you to think of how you can show that love to others. So then we sang our first song, which is Christmas Bells. And under the kids' seat today, they all had a bell. They all had a block that went with the nativity, and they all had a ribbon wand. We started with Christmas bells, and what we do with Christmas bells is we go one, two, three, four, shake around. So, Christmas bells are ringing, hear what they say to you, like that. Sing it all through the song. Um, I did it at least two times. The first time, they're just getting the shaking down. The second time, they start singing the words. Then I had one of the kids come up, take the Christmas bells heart, and put it over his little heart, showing how his heart is growing with love for Jesus, especially as we sing these wonderful Christmas songs at Christmas time. So our next heart was the nativity song and everybody had a block under their chair and this one has a lot of words I and mean, it's really hard to teach this one to the primary but it's wonderful to just play for them and have them listen for their part and when they hear their part they're supposed to come up and put their piece up here and so that we create our own nativity i also assign somebody to draw the stable so when it talks about the stable they come up here grab the chalk and draw the stable so as as each part is sung in the song, they come up and create their own nativity. I just happen to have a manger and a baby Jesus that are separate because it talks about this is the manger waiting for Jesus to cradle his head. And then later at the very end of the song, we put Jesus on the manger. So um, if you can't do that, you can just have the person who has the baby Jesus just bring it at the very end. So then again, we pick the heart, his heart's growing bigger, with more love for Jesus and more love for others. Our next song was Samuel Tells a Baby Jesus. And for this one, we did a dance. So I had everybody spread out. And if you want, you can have them take their ribbons wands with them because they're going to stay spread out for the next song. But they're not gonna use it for this song. This song sounds kind of oriental. So what we did was a dance, we did Said, said Samuel, and then we go the other way, within five years, then we put our arms straight out with our hands up, the night will be as day. And we clap three times. And we do that same dance pattern the whole song. That baby Jesus will be born in a land far, far away. Same thing for the Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna. Oh, let us gladly.